guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of uh, Pogo Teams, the Teams mini-series. In this episode, we're going to write most of the uh, commands for the plugins. So, as far as uh, creating a new team, removing a team, uh, adding uh, or removing members from the team, listing members in a team, and things like that. There are still a couple of features that we're going to add later that may or may not include commands, so we might go ahead and add in a few more later, but for now, we are good. Uh, first of all, I did borrow from uh, uh, Magic Battle, this command manager class. Um, it's just a very standard command manager. If you uh, don't already have this or if you don't know how to make it, watch the uh, Magic Battle miniseries because I go over it and I just figured that uh, it's not worth teaching the exact same thing uh, again. So, uh, you know, basically all it does is it's your on command method. Um, checks if the command is team, if it is, and there are no arguments, it sends all of the um, commands. Um, uh, if there are arguments, then it'll try to get a command, uh, and then call the onCommand method. I also have here a subcommand class, which is the equivalent of the magic command class in Magic Battle. All it does is define a message usage and um, aliases, and then it has getters for that, and then an abstract on command method that is called by the command manager. So, uh, make sure that you have seen Magic Battle or that you understand this, and now let's actually go ahead and write a command, and it'll probably make a little bit more sense. So the first thing that we'll do is um, adding a team. So we'll go ahead and create a new, actually we need to do a new package, uh, which we will call dot cmds for commands then we're going to go ahead and make a new class which i'm going to call um, create team uh, so create team is going to extend subcommand of course and it first of all needs its constructor sorry about that first of all needs its constructor um, where we're going to give it the message usage, okay, so the message is going to be create a team um, name is the uh, command or the uh, parameter, I should say. And then the aliases will just be um, so create team create or ct or new, let's just say. So those are all the valid aliases. Then, of course, we need our public void on command takes in a player p and string array args. So this is similar to the on command, like the real one from Bucket, uh, but in this case, uh, just takes in a player, because we know at this point that it's a player that's doing it, and then the uh, arguments, of course. And it is called from the command manager. Assuming that everything goes well, it will be called. Um, and... Uh, so then this is where we're going to actually handle everything for creating the team. One thing that you also need to make sure to do is uh, in the constructor, you need to add um, create team. So that'll just register it in the list of commands. Uh, and then that's very important. Okay, so in the on command for create team, first thing we want to do is check to see if the player's already in a team. Because if they are in a team, then uh, they can't make one. So if team manager dot get instance dot get team for p is not equal to null uh, then we're going to uh, send message check color dot red and we'll say you already have a team all right uh, and then of course we need to return so at this point we know that they don't already have a team uh, so next we're going to say if args dot length is equal to zero because uh, they need to specify the name so if they don't specify anything then we're going to uh, send them a message you must specify a name 
Then now we know that there's at least one argument, so we can say string name is equal to args zero. We can now say if team manager dot get instance dot get team for name is not equal to null, then we know that that team already exists, and we want to tell them that. So we'll say that team already exists. And otherwise, I can't really think of any other calls. You might want to do a check to see if the team name is too long or too short, or if the person has permission to actually run the command. Uh, but I think that it's safe to assume that at this point, at least for what we're doing now, that it's okay to do it. So uh, we're going to say team manager dot get instance dot add team new team for name. And then that is going to use the constructor for the plugin that takes in the name and then has an empty list of members. Uh, so now we're adding a team which will first of all um, add this team to the list and then it will save that team to the file so we're good for there. Uh, and then of course we want to tell them that it worked. So um, we'll say created team uh, name so that we know that it was created. And I believe that we should be good for there. Uh, so next we're going to go ahead and do uh, the join command. So team has been created, so now um, we'll go ahead and do a join team command. And it's going to copy this because it's going to be very uh, similar. First need to of course say join a team. Uh, it'll take team and then uh, the other ones will be uh, join or J. Okay, and then let's just go register this. New join team. Okay. Um, so now, let's go ahead right here. Uh, so if they already have a team, then we shouldn't let them join one until they leave it, and we'll write the leave next. Uh, so we're going to change that to be name string team. Uh, so if they don't give us anything, then we're saying that they need to specify a team. Then we get the team. And if we're saying that the team is equal to null, then that team uh, does not exist. And we, of course, can't let them join a non-existent team. Uh, you might also want to check for you know permissions, or you could even incorporate some kind of an invitation system. Uh, but otherwise, we can just say teammanager.getinstance.getteam for team dot add member p uh, and then we can go ahead and do um, check color dot green and then we'll just say you have joined team team so that we know uh, the team that they joined now we're going to go ahead and basically do the same thing but we need to have uh, leave team uh, so this will be leave a team, and then that will be leave or L. We, of course, need to register it. Oops. Okay. So we need to register that. Um, and then for leave, if it's equal to null, then we'll say you are not on a team. So if they're not on a team, we, of course, can't let them. Uh, do it. So if they don't specify a name, we need to tell them to specify the team, then we get the team. Um, then we need to say... Oh yeah, one thing that we might want to do here... No, that's actually okay. Um, we actually don't need them to specify a team because, you know, they're just leaving whatever they're currently in. So we can actually just take out all of that, um, and then we'll get team for the player, and then we'll say remove member player. Um, you have left team, uh, and then it'll have to be team manager get instead get team for p dot get name. Uh, so then it'll just tell them that they have left the team. You might also want to like send a message to all of the players uh, on the team to let them know when someone joins and leaves, uh, but that's optional. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Um, Let's just go ahead and write one that will um, list members. 
well actually we'll just do um, list teams and then list members. I'm just going to copy this code because I'm kind of lazy. Uh, and then we're going to call this list teams. And then we're just going to say list all teams. Uh, no arguments, of course. And then this will just be list or L. Uh, we're going to register this. Um, and then this one is just going to be really easy. We just need to say for, uh, or we'll go ahead and use a uh, string builder for this just to uh, build a string of all the teams. Um, STB string builder is equal to new string builder. Uh, and then we'll say check color dot uh, say green. And then we'll just have it say teams. And then we'll reset the check color. Then we're going to say for team t in uh, team manager dot get instance dot get teams stb dot append t dot get name plus comma space and then p dot send message stb dot two string. So what this is going to do is it's just going to first print out, you know, teams, and then it's going to, for each team, print out the name of the team, and then a comma. So that one's easy, and then we're just going to do one for list members. Uh, so list members, list all members of your team, um, and then we'll just go ahead and call this list M or LM. Uh, so then what we're going to say is, first of all, we need to go grab that if they're not on a team, we of course need to tell them. Then otherwise, we're going to say for string player on uh, team manager dot get instance dot get team for p dot get members. Uh, now the one thing that uh, that you need to remember is that we're saving these as um, UDIDs. So I suppose that we would need to say um, player p or not p. We'll just call it p1 uh, bucket dot get server dot get player new or no sorry UUID dot from string player. And then we'll say if p1 is not equal to null, then we want to append. And we'll also go ahead and keep track um, of int offline so we can tell how many are offline. So, and then otherwise, we're just going to say offline plus plus so we can you know, say how many of the people are actually offline. And then this will actually be p1 dot get name might actually be a better way to do this I could just be overthinking but I'm not sure uh, then we of course need to say um, stb append um, and then we'll append uh, what is it offline offline so it'll just put in parentheses like 10 offline or however many people are actually offline and then we want to make sure to register that Okay, um, so that's all for this video. We just went through and made uh, a bunch of the commands. Um, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn, uh, especially in this series. Uh, I have plans that will do friendly fire uh, so that you can't hurt people on the same team, and then also claiming chunks so that you can... Um, Claim a like you can claim a chunk, and then other people can't break blocks on your chunk. We could do something like that. If there's anything else that you uh, are interested in doing with the Teams plugin, leave a comment below. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, videos. Bye, guys.